left, he made millions. Corey Hardricht, born in Chicago, Illinois, began his journey in the entertainment world in the late 90s. From humble beginnings, Corey appeared in small roles on TV shows like Smart Guy and Felicity. His big break came with roles in movies like Gran Torino and American Sniper, showcasing his talent and versatility. Corey married actress Tia Mari in 2008, and the couple became beloved by fans. However, in 2022, after 14 years of marriage, they announced their divorce, surprising many. Despite the personal setback, Corey found new success. Teaming up with Tyler Perry, he starred in the film Divorce in Black, a poignant story that resonated with many. Corey Hardrick's journey is a testament to resilience. From his early days in Chicago to finding renewed success in Hollywood, stay tuned for more about Corey Hardrick and his ongoing journey in the world of entertainment. I swear so many women love hating on our brother. It's kind of terrifying. I'll give an example. Let me roll up here. This is from Urban Pulse Podcast. And this talks about how, you know, Corey Hardrick is doing okay. He's doing good, despite the fact he got divorced from Tia Mari, which I think is like a big mistake on her part. But if she wasn't divorced, it's out of his hands. But it's not just that. It's the comments from this um, video clip. And then you go, what? For example, from Virgo Nation, she left, he had to get a jab. You mean to sound like the guy been broke for the last few years? There's a reason why I sound a little bit, you know, annoyed. Next one, Adele. He made a movie and you act like he's a success story. Everyone should hear about L M A O. Really? Wow. Then you got Tammy Mims. Why? Why are you so thirsty telling stuff we already know? Ugh. Wow. Last but not least, Karen, surprise, Karen Lewis. She was tired of paying for him. And went to Tyler Perry to get a job. You act like the man been consistent them 14 years. Wow. So, you make yourself that Corey Hardrick is a lazy bum. Okay, before I say a word, I gotta look up see like, okay, how true is it? And this is what I see in terms of his career. I'm not gonna tell you. I said, we're gonna show you. I gotta provide a link so you know what I'm saying. Okay, right here. Black and white. You got 1990, Never Been Kissed. So, Soul Searching, Crazy Beautiful. This is going from 1999, 2001, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2011, 2013. And in between, he got, he married Tia Mari and all that. You got 2011, 2013, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, mind you, these are films. You serious, folks? They got 17, 2018, 2021. 2020, we got shut down. 21, 2023, 2024. These are just films alone. Now you got television. From 1997, you got Smart Guy, Felicity, ER, once again, Chicago Hope, Pacific Blues, City of Angels, Angels, Boston Public, Goldfish, The Huntress, That's Life, Any Day Now. Just the name of you. And look at the years. 1997, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2, 3, hold on, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 12, 13, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. Now, as in 23, afterwards, I don't know. I mean, look at this. My point being, you may tell this guy is doing nothing. I'm going to provide the hyperlinks just so you don't think I'm capping on that. And I'm not sound like I'm a super fanboy. I'm going to make sure the guy is doing nothing. Ladies, I can promise there's a pookie and Ray Ray you probably had laid up in your place at some point in your life who do way, way less than Corey Hardrick. Are you serious? And because you start getting success now, you start burning him? You know what? Go ahead and talk. Keep talking. Keep going your way. And talking. Because all you're doing is proving why men are staying single. These men who try to do the right by you is never enough because you women are never satisfied. That's like Tia Mari wasn't satisfied. 
you know, you, you would, would be. And the funny thing is now all of a sudden he's coming to his own and all of a sudden it's a problem. But here's the funny thing though. Here's the funny irony. You remember Lori Harvey, right? And how Micah B. Jordan and we all thought that she's going she's gonna to be marrying him. No, she dumped him. And he's way higher, way higher than, you know, Corey Hardrick. And that's, this is not shade on Corey Hardrick, but Michael B. Jordan is like a certified, like, big name. He's an A-lister. No question about it. She dumped him. And you women cheered her on. That's what that stupid sprinkle, sprinkle thing went on. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, princess treatment. Well, guess what? Because of your ridiculous sprinkle sprinkle movement, that's when the soft guy era came about. That's when the drizzle drizzle movement came about. And the more you try to throw stuff like the bear and other stupid stuff like that, we just dug in 10 toes deep saying, no, we're not backing down for this. No. You got MGTOW, you got MWA, soft guy era, drizzle drizzle movement, red pill. And my favorite, the Passport Bros. Because you make it sound like that you could do all this stuff and the men just shut up and take it. No. You gotta walk away. You want us to go away? You got your wish. But keep in mind, that cold winter is going to be coming soon. And here's the funniest irony of, the, of them all. Come to like, you know, 2040, 2050, Half of you is going to be singleless, going to be single and childless. But I didn't make the prediction. A good number of men didn't make this prediction. This men you hate so much, they didn't make the prediction. Morgan Stanley did. J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan, that financial institution, they made that prediction. Yeah. By the time like the 1940s, the 2040s, 2050s come, and you'd be crying on videos. Why can't we find a good man? The same good men you make fun of, reject it, ignore, this is what they're going to do. Exactly that. And one more twist of, um, of the screw. They'll be pointing like this. One in the arms of a woman who is not for this country, who is way more traditional and way more kind and loving than you women. Hey, I said what I said. Deuces.